What's going on everybody? We're gonna do a quick video today on the Trayvax wallets. Now I've been interested in Trayvax for some time and I've seen actually a lot of people do reviews on them over the past couple years. And a friend of mine has actually carried kind of their OG one for probably the past eight or nine years. And I don't even think he's changed the paracord on that thing, but I just never bought one. And I don't know why, um, because I've actually bought a couple wallets and was kind of unsatisfied with them until recently, I think about a year ago or something like that, I bought one of the Popov leather wallets, which I did a review on because I like minimalistic kind of credit card style designed wallets. Now I don't, I went with this one because I just happened to be buying it and I saw it was a sale. Now Trayvax got a hold of me and sent me out a couple of wallets to check out. Actually they sent me, I think four wallets to check out and kind of do reviews on. So I wanted to just kind of bundle all those together, show you guys the different wallets and then do a giveaway because since they were nice enough to give these to me, I'm just gonna pass it forward and give them to you guys. And I'll kind of give you more information about that giveaway here in a minute. But let's talk really quickly about some of the benefits of a wallet like this. One, it is a minimalist design. I can't stand those one inch ass busting wallets like the billfolds, the trifolds. I always wanted a wallet that was very sleek, very smooth because I don't want big bulges in my pockets or things like that. Um, it's just not my style at all. And I hate carrying a ton of stuff in my wallet. I want the minimal stuff in here. A couple bills, my ID, my credit card, maybe a gift card or something like that. I just don't want all of this stuff in my wallet. You know, the days of having all the pictures in your wallet are pretty much over for most people. So it's definitely good that it's a minimalist design. Now they also have an RFID blocking or an or RFID interference style wallets. Now what that means is, it's a lot more difficult for somebody to do credit card fraud or something like that, or read anything they could get from an RFID signal. Now, if you guys don't know, you haven't paid attention, fraud, forgery, identity theft, is probably the fastest and one of the most expensive crimes out there. So anything that you can do to not be a victim of that is probably going to be better for you. So the wallets they sent me are the Contour, which you can see I've been carrying, and this thing is absolutely awesome. They sent me the OG2, they sent me the uh, they sent me the Armored Summit and the Summit Wallet, all of which kind of have their own uh, kind of quirks and cool things about them. Now, a couple of the quick positives and negatives up front. One, super minimal. Has the RFID blocking, and it's just absolutely nice, and it's made in America, which is huge. Now, some of the negatives may be it doesn't carry a whole lot. If you're one of those people that has a one-inch thick wallet with everything in the world in it, and you practically need a purse, this may not work for you, or it could be the thing that you need to buy to stop carrying all of that stuff. But these are meant to carry anywhere from probably like eight to 12 cards, depending on which model you get. Specifically, this one is about eight, and it fits that very, very well. They also all have bottle openers on them. Specifically, this one is right here. That's pretty cool, because guys need bottle openers. And my ladies out there need bottle openers too. So that's pretty neat, they're integrated into the wallet. There also is some expansion capability if you have what they call the link which is basically kind of like a keychain lanyard so you can clip this wallet onto inside your gear or you can clip it onto your belt loop. So even if you're doing something crazy, moving around, jumping around, you won't lose your wallet. Um, are there some negatives? Yes, of course, there's negatives with anything. One, it's very, very minimalistic and small. Like I said, that may not work for you. Two, it's got metal, it's made out of metal. So if you have this in your rear pocket and you're sitting down and moving around a lot, it eventually may wear through your clothing, but that's completely up to you. Uh, maybe a negative is they're not the cheapest wallets out there, but it's kind of buy once, cry once, everybody. So if you buy junk wallets, you're probably going to be replacing them every year. If you buy something like this, you might be like my buddy and have it last a decade. I don't know. It depends on how you treat your wallets. If you're running them over with a car, it might not last that long. But these are obviously going to last a lot longer than your Walmart or kind of department store wallets. Now for me in a recent EDC video, which I'll link down below, what I've been carrying for the longest time is my Popov leather kind of five card wallet. And you can see extremely minimalistic design, but even with that, just to give you guys a look right here, you can kind of see how much smaller the Trayvax wallet is than even that one. And these things are awesome. I will leave a link down below for that so you can check it out. But the Trayvax thing just takes that minimalist design to a whole new level. And like I said, Trayvax got a hold of me and they sent these wallets out to me and provided uh, an affiliate link for it. So I'm gonna go ahead and just give these away to you guys. And I'll kind of tell you how to get into that uh, here just shortly in a little bit. But we're gonna check these out up close, all the ones that they sent me, and uh, kind of show you guys what they're all about and how to use them. And then we'll come back and we'll talk about that giveaway. All right, let's go ahead and get into these wallets that Trayvax sent out. And we'll kind of just go real quickly over what I have been carrying. So this is a Popov leather wallet. 
It is their five card style design and this thing, it's a great wallet, but just really quickly, we'll grab this and you can kind of see, you know, just how much smaller this is. If I kind of match corner to corner here, um, you can really see there's a pretty noticeable size difference between these wallets and even something that's an extremely minimalist wallet as well. It's about a half inch right there. So that's pretty good size difference. Um, but let's talk about this, what they do and the kind of quality of these. These are all made in the USA, which is awesome. And we are going to start over here with their OG 2.0 here. Very, very minimalist design. And this is kind of the one that started it all. As you can see, you've got that paracord that's kind of woven through there and it's tied off in a knot in the bottom. So this is where your tension comes from. What you do is you get whatever cards you have in there. You use this little edge right here to pull. You can see that little metal clip and it goes right over that. And there's just, just enough lip there on that edge. Get you guys a good view that when you put your cards in there, that is going to lock it in just like that. And then you just pull the bottom like this to work it. So it's that tension that you want in here. As you can tell my guys, my girls out there that are into the beers, you got yourself that bottle opener and the clip. So as you have your cards in there, just kind of grab a gift card that I have sitting here as your cards are in here like this and your wallet is secured. This is where your money could go or anything you want to clip on the back. So pretty cool design overall. You also have a little pry bar right there. And this one is the RFID blocking style as well. So pretty cool design. Now, one of the things about wallets like this, whatever you have in there um, like that, since it's just one space, you pretty much have to pull things out and then figure out which card you want and pull it out or pull it all out. It's kind of up to you on how you want to do that. So what they do do is they all have that little loop in there. What's that for is like their little link thing, which is basically kind of like a keychain, um, So you can hook it onto stuff. It's very, very nice. Made in America as well. And it's just a solid setup. So a pretty cool wallet. Like I said, my buddy has this one has had it for probably close to a decade now, eight to 10 years. And he's still rocking it. And it's, uh, it's working very, very well. So let's talk about this one right here. Now, this is the most minimalist design one that they sent me, but it's still pretty dang cool. Now this one's called the summit and this is an ultra ultra minimalist wallet. You can kind of see the edges right there. That's basically the top and bottom edge that is going to hold your cards just like that. And you can put bills in there, whatever you want. And then what you're going to do is whatever you have in there, you figure out your tension and then you're going to weave the rest of that nylon through and just pull tight on this end right there. And you kind of figure out the tension based on, you know, how many cards you're going to hold or have with you at any given time. Like I said, you have that loop right there. If you want that, uh, that link that they have that, and that's just a pretty cool design. And then this right here on that edge, you can see, you can use that for a bottle opener. And I'll, and this one is RFID diminishing, not blocking. Now the armored summit is an RFID blocking setup. And you can see that it has a second piece of metal in it right here. So pretty cool little design right there that does come all the way out. You got your bottle opener right there. You can use this for all kinds of different stuff. You've got your one eight card capacity. You have a money clip holds up to five bills, your RFID reduction and your bottle opener. So same design here, what you're going to do, figure out how much stuff you want to put down in here like this. And then what you're going to do is same thing, weave this through how you want it and then pull this leading edge right here to tighten or loosen as you can see. So pretty cool design. And like I said, with that in there, you're going to have your RFID blocking and it's cool. Just works. Now, my favorite one of the group obviously is the one that had my stuff in it. And I took it out to do this video is this contour, this thing. It's just classy. I mean, look at that thing. It's like the perfect mix of leather and metal. And it's just, it's a really good looking setup. Now you've got a lot of options with this one. So it has a little screw head right here. They do give you the tool and this is how you kind of determine where you want your retention right there. That's a little clasp that you pull off and on because your cards will go in here. Very cool design. You suit it and fit it to your needs. Now you'll also see on the leather right there, you'll see those lines. Now you can actually loosen this on both sides right there and fit it to your, uh, your needs, which is pretty cool. Then you have an area back here 
which would be your money clip, or I just actually stick gift cards in it like that when I have the rest of my main cards in here. Really cool designs, guys. I mean, they did an amazing job on here, and this one specifically, I mean, this is just nice. Now, like I said, the one downside is you got these in your back pockets and you're sitting on them. This may wear through your clothing a lot quicker than other ones. Well, I'm not gonna say may, it's going to wear through your clothing a lot faster than some other stuff. But these are the type of wallets you're probably only going to have to buy once. And they are super small and very, very rugged built. And if you ever do rip this paracord or anything like that, you just buy some new paracord or some cheap new nylon like that and put it on there. So this is the kind of thing that would last a lifetime. Let's go ahead and get back up into the desk. We'll talk about that giveaway on the Travax wallets. Very nice wallets. They're producing an American made high quality product. And like I said, I really do love the minimalistic style design. And the one that just stood out to me was definitely that contour. The thing is just, just a dang work of art. It's really, really nice. And it may not be for everybody, like I said, but if you're into the minimalistic, kind of rugged look, that's definitely for you. So the benefits of them, you know, like I said, minimalistic design, gonna last an extremely long time, made in America. Negatives, may wear a hole in your pocket, a little bit pricey, but it's kind of longevity, you know, the more you spend up front, the less you're gonna spend over the course. So that's pretty cool. Now let's talk about the giveaway. So the rules of the giveaway, here it is. You've got to live in the lower 48, right? I, I just can't afford to ship this overseas or somewhere crazy off, uh, off the shores of the US. So if you live in that 48, you go ahead and enter. And what you're gonna do is you're just gonna leave a comment down below on which one you liked and why and how it would fit your lifestyle. Just a couple quick blurbs about those things. Then I'm gonna randomly pick a winner. If you share the video, let me know where you shared it, if it's on Facebook or something like that, and then I'll get you an extra entry. And what I'm gonna do is just spin that wheel and figure out who to send these to. Um, you may or may not get the one that you wanted because I'm gonna kinda of do it in order um, as a batch, but I would just really like to know which one is more popular than others. Obviously, some of them are more expensive than others, that contour being one of them but it's pretty cool stuff. I really hope you guys like learning about these wallets and kind of seeing them up close. Make sure to enter that giveaway. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit the like button if you like what's going on here. I will leave links for the Trayvac stuff down below for you guys, you can check those out. If you want anything else, just let me know. Leave a comment on anything else you'd like to see on the channel. Get out there, have some fun. I will see you guys on the next one.